All right, uh, I wanted to give you an example of what we could do with Camtasia. I did this very quickly in my, my office this morning, so don't ex it hasn't been edited, so don't expect perfection. I wanted to show you what could be done very quickly and very easily. Uh, what do I want you to learn from today? I could pre be presenting this to you face to face, but I'm choosing to present this to you online. Remember this is going to be fun, it's not going to be difficult and that you have lots of help available. What does a flipped classroom mean? It means less time in the physical classroom, more time online, more independent learning by your students. And remember, we're going to be here to help them as well. What it does not mean is less content and less rigor in your classes. We're going to have just as much um, uh, content covered, and we're going to cover it at just as high a level. So how do we do it? First of all, think about your class. I want you to think about your class in three areas of instruction. Homework, lecture or presentations, and then active student involvement. Then we'll get together, uh, or you can do this individually or you, we can do it together, and pre-record your lectures. What we're doing is taking your lecture time out of class so your students can do it at home, on their iPads while they're waiting to pick up their kids, uh, they can have some flexibility in how they listen to your lectures. The lectures will be matched with short online activities to build in some accountability for your students. And this will maximize your time so that in class you can do some really engaging, uh, in-depth activities with your students. So, again, we're thinking of our classes in these three areas, homework, presentations, and student activity. The homework is not going to change. If you want them to read um, chapters before they come to class, still assign them to do that. If you're going to make a homework assignment, still assign them to do that. Don't make the online portion what used to be homework. The online portion should be your lectures. So this, of course, will change as this will be online. What you're also going to see changing is the student activity. Because your classes are online, you are going to um, find that maybe you were lecturing too much <laughs> and that to, uh, if your lectures are online, you may have to enrich those student activities that they do when they come to class, which is a good thing. It will make your classes richer. Example, for class one, students should read chapters one and two. Then they do the online portion and do the checks. Then they come to class and with you do some really in-depth uh, application of the material. So what do I mean by checks? Um, it could be a few simple uh, two to three multiple choice questions. These are probably the easiest. If you have big classes, I suggest you do this because um, Blackboard grades these automatically. Uh, a short essay, you will have to grade it, but again, it can be done very quickly. You could have a short assignment that the students submit online. Again, you would have to grade that, so use these sparingly. You might ask them, uh, you might put on a threaded discussion in class. I use this a lot. And every student is expected to not only uh, contribute a, a part to the discussion that shows that they understand the lecture, but they're also supposed to respond to some of their other classmates. This is a very rich way to to uh, do this. You would, again, have to grade it, but you can do that very quickly by summarizing those discussions. Or you could have them answer something individually by emailing you personally. Um, then you can keep up with what the students' participation that way, but it does take some more of your time. So what do you do now? Look at each class for your course. Decide what should be online and what should be face-to-face. -face. Get your presentations together and ideas for assessment. You can go into Camtasia and start recording on your own, or you can meet with one of us that have volunteered to help you, and we could help you put your classes together. For example, in a two to three hour session, we could put several of your class, uh, your online portions of your classes together if you have your presentations ready to go. Um, final points. All main assessments should be in a monitored setting. Your tests, your midterm, your final, these should either be given in class or 
if they're given online, students should come to campus to do that so that they could be mentored. Face-to-face -face plus online time has got to equal um, what your original class time was. If you usually spend three hours in class, you still need to have three hours dedicated, although some of that will be online. Content and expectations stay high. Remember that there's always help available. And mistakes are okay, because we're learning this together.